Trump considers yanking security clearances of his critics Washington, AP, President Donald Trump is considering revoking the security clearances of six former top national security officials who have been critical of his administration, a move that opponents and experts say would be an unprecedented politicization of the clearance process. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said Monday that the president is exploring the mechanisms to strip clearance from former CIA director John Brennan as well as five other former officials who have held some of the most sensitive positions in government, former FBI Director James Comey, James Clapper, the former Director of National Intelligence, former CIA Director Michael Hayden, former National Security Advisor Susan Rice, and Andrew McCabe, who served as Trump's Deputy FBI Director until he was fired in March. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teeds Advertisement The leaders have served in both Democratic and Republican administrations, including Trump's. Sanders accused the officials of having politicized and in some cases monetized their public service and security clearances by making baseless accusations that the Trump administration had improper contact with Russia or was influenced by Russia. The fact that people with security clearances are making these baseless charges provides inappropriate legitimacy to accusations with zero evidence, she said. Sanders did not cite specific comments made by any of the officials. But the president has been seething over the backlash to his meeting last week with Russia's Vladimir Putin and the ongoing investigations into Russia's meddling in the 2016 election, whether his campaign aides were involved in the effort and whether he obstructed justice. Democratic Rep. Adam Schiff of California, a ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, tweeted that, politicizing security clearances to retaliate against former national security officials who criticized the president would set a terrible new precedent, an enemies list is ugly, undemocratic and un-American, he added. The threat to deny the officials access to classified information marks the latest escalation in the president's ongoing war with the members of the U.S. intelligence community. It came hours after Republican Sen. Rand Paul of Kentucky tweeted that he would be meeting with Trump to discuss revoking Brennan's clearance for his scathing criticism of the president's performance at the summit with Putin. Advertisement I told the president in private what I've been saying in public, that I think there's a great danger to having talking heads on TV who are ex-CIA agents and still have classified clearance, Paul said Monday evening in an appearance on Fox News. There's a real danger they might inadvertently reveal classified information, he said. Former CIA directors and other top national security officials are typically allowed to keep their clearances, at least for some period, as a courtesy and so they can be in a position to advise their successors. At least one of the former officials, McCabe, does not currently have security clearance, his spokeswoman said. Experts appeared split on whether the president has the authority to unilaterally terminate a security clearance, but said such a move would be unprecedented and ill-advised. Legalities aside, it seems like a terrible mistake to use the security clearance system as an instrument of political vendettas, said Stephen Aftergood at the Federation of American Scientists Project on Government Secrecy. While standing next to Putin, Trump last week openly questioned his own intelligence agency's conclusions that Moscow tried to tip the scales of the 2016 election in his favor and seemed to accept Putin's insistence that Russia's hands were clean. Brennan slammed those comments as nothing short of treasonous and accused Trump of being wholly in the pocket of Putin. Paul, in turn, has called Brennan the most biased, bigoted, over-the-top, hyperbolic sort of unhinged director of the CIA we've ever had in interviews with Fox. Advertisement Clapper, reacting to the White House talk of revoking clearances, said on CNN that Trump's idea was, kind of a petty way of retribution, I suppose, for speaking out against the president, which I think, on the part of all of us, are born out of genuine concerns about President Trump, Hayden tweeted Monday that revoking his security clearance wouldn't have any effect on what I say or write, and former Brennan Deputy Chief of Staff Nick Shapiro said Brennan hasn't made one penny off of his clearance and doesn't need a security clearance to speak out against the failings of Trump. Melissa Schwartz, a spokeswoman for McCabe, tweeted that his security clearance was deactivated when he was terminated, per FBI policy. 
you would think the White House would check with the FBI before trying to throw shiny objects to the press corps, she wrote. As for whether Trump has the authority to do what Sanders suggested, after Good called it a disputed question, attorney Greg T. Rinky, who specializes in national security and security clearance cases, said that while presidents have broad authority to grant clearances, there is some debate over whether or not the president has the authority to revoke them. He said he was not aware of any past case in which a person had their clearance revoked by the president. John V. Barry, an attorney who regularly represents federal intelligence agency employees, said that he didn't see any reason the president wouldn't be able to revoke clearance but that doing so would be terrible for America and totally defeat the process of defending national security. If we start interjecting politics into this, our country's going to be significantly weakened, Barry said. Rep. Elijah Cummings, ranking Democrat on the House Oversight Committee, said Trump had allowed his former national security adviser Michael Flynn to keep his security clearance for weeks after the Justice Department warned that he was under investigation for lying about his secret conversations with the Russians and allowed his son-in-law Jared Kushner to keep his security clearance after repeatedly concealing his foreign contacts. President Trump should get his own staff's security clearances in order rather than engaging in crass political retribution against former officials, Cummings said in statement. Underscore 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 Associated Press writers Deb Reekman and Lisa Mascaro in Washington contributed to this report. By Tabula by Tabula Sponsored Links Sponsored Links Promoted Links Promoted Links You may like Stanford American International School 6 Tips on Moving to Your New Home in Singapore Stanford American International School in Oeana Komodo Resort Tired of Same Vacation Spot Each Year? Consider East Flores, Ayana Komodo Resort and Do Enjoy Compare This is the last VPN you are going to need, and it's on sale. Enjoy Compare on Babel. This app will have you speaking a new language in three weeks. Babel and Wa Fashionable Sexiest Sexiest Camo Wedding Dresses Fantasy According to Mana Fashionable on Do Throne, free online game you think you're tough? Then play this game and prove it, Throne, free online game Undo.